Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today let's learn how to go full screen with a variety of Mac applications. So one of the things Windows users complain about when they switch to Mac is that they can't easily go full screen with applications. It's simply a function key for Windows and almost all applications follow it. On Mac it's a little bit different. Some applications don't go full screen at all. Some have kind of hidden full screen capability and there's others where you have to alter yourself. Let's go and take a look at a bunch of applications on the Mac and how to take it full screen or as close to full screen as you can. Now one of the things you may want to do is play video on full screen. Now if you're in iTunes and you're playing video like this podcast in the little video pane at the bottom left or in a window, all you need to do is go to View and play full screen or Command F and you'll get your video full screen. Now if you're using the QuickTime Player to view video, all you need to do there is go to the View menu and go to Enter Full Screen or Command F. You could also go to the View menu and use the Present Movie function which gives you some options as well. Now it goes without saying that two other video applications are by default really full screen. There's the DVD player which of course will play DVDs full screen or you can bring them back into a window as well and also Front Row which is probably the only Apple application that is natively full screen and takes your entire screen over to present video or photos or music. Now the Finder also has a full screen mode of sorts. When you use the Quick Look function on a file by control clicking the file and selecting Quick Look or hitting the space bar then you also get the option to go ahead and bring that preview into full screen mode with the button at the bottom of the Quick Look window. Now the preview application also has a full screen mode so you can use preview to view things like PDFs in full screen. Now iPhoto has a very interesting full screen mode. You can select some photos in just about any view and then select view full screen and you'll get this full screen view of the photos that you've selected and you also get these great toolbars at the top and bottom. At the bottom you get your normal things that you usually see at the bottom of iPhoto and at the top you get a little view of your photos that you can scroll through just like new ones. But really going against Apple's dislike of full screen mode applications is iMovie. The new iMovie 09 has a bunch of different things. First you can go ahead and select Window Show Projects Full Screen or Command 6 and you'll get this really interesting view here of your projects kind of in a cover flow at the bottom, an extended cover flow view with some extra buttons. You can also go ahead and select Window Show Events Full Screen or Command 7. You get a similar view of your events. And then of course there's also the View Play Full Screen or Command G while you're editing something in iMovie. Now what a lot of people would love to do is take Safari full screen but there's just no way to do that with Safari as it is. Same thing with Firefox. There's some plugins that will expand the Firefox window to be almost full screen but not quite. However, there is a plugin for Safari called Saft, S-A-F-T, and this one, if you add it to Safari, will have a full screen mode in the file menu and it fills the entire screen up. It also gives you a bunch of different options as to how it works, including getting rid of the toolbars at the top and having even a kiosk mode. You could find out more about Saft at this web address. It only cost about 12 bucks and in my test seemed to work pretty well and had some other interesting functions. Now Apple really doesn't like this whole full screen mode thing and doesn't build it into most of their applications. But I find it to be very useful, especially when you want to concentrate on a certain thing. Like it would be great to have a way to take mail full screen and just concentrate specifically on just getting some of your email answered. If you've got some other ways to get other applications to go full screen on the Mac, leave a comment at this post at MacMost.com. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMost Now.